So here's a quick video to show you how to improve the performance of your personal computer. First, right click on the task bar and open task manager. From here, click on the startup tab. Here will be, uh, you will be able to see the applications that um, let's start up on their own after your computer boots up. So they create some impact on that. You will be able to uh, you relate this that after turning uh, after your computer boots up, it it is extremely slow for a few minutes. It is because these applications start up during that time. Therefore, the computer works slow. Uh, if you don't need an application, for example, I don't need Microsoft OneDrive, you can disable it. I also don't need Cortana. I've disabled it. So, you can disable it by clicking on the application which you want to disable and then click on disable the button here and that should work the next thing that you can do from here is click on start and write appearance you will get this option just the appearance and performance of windows you can open this and uncheck the options that you don't need for example animate controls and elements inside windows animate windows when maximizing and minimizing animations in the dark spot these are the things that you can easily disable. If you disable them, then the performance might be much better than what it is. So, there are several presets here. You can choose from them. For example, adjust for best performance, adjust for best appearance, or let Windows choose what's best for your computer. So, I've set it to custom. Next thing that you can do for making the performance better is open run and write here person temp person without a space and you can remove all these folders that are kept temporarily here actually you can remove them and wait while removing uh, press shift plus delete to remove them permanently as you can see it's quite a large amount of data around 5 GBs of data here so the performance might be better after reducing so after deleting them the performance might be better as you had seen that 5 GBs of data which is not required so you can try doing this another recommendation would be don't install applications unnecessarily uh, as you know that there is a certain um, read and write capacity of your hard drive so if you are constantly installing new applications and deleting them that is also not good for your system so before installing an application ask yourself if you really need that application or not and then only install them uh, and one more don't hope from one operating system to the other as you can see the action cannot be completed because it is open in google drive sync so i'll skip this file because these are open in the background these require these files for working so i will be skipping them yeah, let it do its job and that should work, I think. From here, you can go to add or remove program. From here, you can delete or uninstall the programs that you don't require. Keep a check on your hard drive that how much of the hard drive you have used. And keep a large amount of space free from your hard drive or the SSD which you are using. The thing that you can do is change the power plan, power plan that you are using. Here you go. The, there are several power plans. 
what you can do is choose the high performance mode or you can create your own power plan and base it on high performance name the power plan as such and then there you go you change the settings and create it now the brightness is too high okay now you go to change plan settings and change advanced power settings from here you will be able to find an option that is processor power management now change this on battery if you're using your laptop then this option will show up so you can change this to 100 percent and you can enable system cooling policy this will run the cool uh, system fan uh, before the processor is down clocked so it will be helpful and on battery you can change it to 100 percent it's already set as such so you can create your own custom plan here to tweak the perform performance of your device it is very much helpful for me for example you can uh, see the performance here we go to the performance tab and if i change okay if i change this plan to ultra low power that i've created to conserve the battery you will see that the cpu speed decreases basically your device works slower but this is uh, this is better it is better to underclock your cpu it's it's a good thing to do so i if i don't if i'm not doing much of video editing or anything heavy then i use this mode else while using a video editor or uh, doing something that requires cpu speed or the graphics card this one i use the high performance mode as you can see the cpu speed shorts up generally i use this option that is the recommended one that is already made by uh, the manufacturer probably hp yeah that's it suggestion that i would uh, give that is create a folder where you would be storing all the files that came uh, that used to work correctly that or that works correctly with your system for example a copy of the version of windows i've created a folder if you see windows os emergency copy i've created two files this is for my old laptop it works perfectly fine with this version of windows and this is the windows 2004 that came with this uh, windows 10 2004 uh, may 2004 uh, version which came with this laptop pre-installed so create a iso file or download the latest version of windows that works correctly with your system and keep a copy of it because when the uh, when your computer is made it is made according to this uh, it is tweaked according to the software so that it works perfectly or works fine mm -hmm. that is why we don't find much of performance problems in um, computers or uh, i mean macbooks or laptops made by apple because the hardware and the software are tuned together in such a manner so you can keep a copy of the software that works correctly currently with your system uh, for example i have a folder named software here created one here here you go i have all the softwares here that works currently uh, perfectly fine with uh, this system so you can always keep a copy of the files that are required that will be helpful one more suggestion would be to check your devices from device manager and see that if you have installed all the devices correctly or not if you're having with problems with this high cpu usages um, or if your display adapters are not working correctly then your then your computer might work slow then what you can do is 
just double click on one of them and then update the driver and search automatically for drivers. Windows will install the correct drivers for your device uh, display adapters. That should also help.